This presentation, which supports the CP3P qualification, the qualification for public-private partnerships that's accredited by APMG, is a simple introduction to infrastructure financing and structuring, and is in three parts. And the first part looks specifically at the purpose of uh, project financing and also looks at the structuring of it through a special purpose vehicle. Public infrastructure is a relatively low risk, high reward investment and combining it with complex arrangements and contracts that guarantee and secure the cash flows make PPP projects prime candidates for project financing and the use of special purpose vehicles. When infrastructure is procured by conventional means, the procuring authority pays for the work against its budget and assumes the entire responsibility of the asset once construction is completed. Payments are usually made as work is progressing and at the stipulated price or subject to revisions. Within the terms of the agreement, the contractor is likely to be responsible for fixing defects at its own cost, but for a limited period. The contractor may also provide security, such as bank guarantees, in respect of its liability for defects. The contractor may also remain responsible for hidden defects over a longer period, but with no security provided during this period. The authority usually contracts for ordinary maintenance tasks to be undertaken by a private party through a separate contract or contracts. However, long-term management or life cycle management and related risks remain a direct responsibility of the government, public agency or corporation created for that purpose. Renewals and major maintenance will usually be contracted and funded by the government or agency as and when needed. The frequency and quality of ongoing buildings maintenance will be dependent on budgetary availability and priorities. Consequently, building assets are often allowed to deteriorate in favour of providing budgetary support to frontline services. Buildings provided under the PPP are part of a service delivery model where the public sector is paying for the availability of the asset and delivery of associated contracted services for the period of the contract, which could be in excess of 30 years. This means that, unless there is a renegotiation of the contract, an upfront budgetary commitment is being made at contract signature to fund the services over the life of the contract, and that would not change. It is a fact that in some countries, public servants prefer to work from a PPP building than one that is procured conventionally, simply because the quality of the office space effectively maintained, even though in principle, those same people may object to the initiative as a whole. The typical PPP financial structure is based on non-recourse or limited recourse project finance techniques, limiting the risk exposure of the investor or promoter of the project, the sponsor. Project finance is based on the financial analysis of the complete life cycle of a project. The cash flows generated by the project must be sufficient to cover payments for operating costs and to service the debt in terms of capital repayment and interest. And project finance requires a higher level of due diligence and control by lenders over and above that undertaken for corporate finance. A special purpose vehicle or SPV is usually established in order to deliver the project and this ring fences the project finance and limited the risk exposure of the parent companies. So let's look at that structure and relationship between the different contracting parties. So a special purpose vehicle is a separate legal entity created by an organisation or organisations, for example, a bidding consortium. The SPV is a distinct company with its own assets and liabilities, as well as its own legal status. It's created for a single purpose or specific objective, for example, to isolate its financial risk. The typical legal forms of special purpose vehicles are partnerships, limited partnerships or joint ventures. So here we have the authority, the public partner, 
um, contracting with the private partner or the SPV. And between the two, we have the contract, sometimes known as the project agreement. The SPV or the private partner will comprise of equity shareholders. And those equity shareholders, those equity investors, are typically the members of the consortium that bid for the original piece of work, often a uh, building partner and a service delivery partner. We also then have the lenders who will provide uh, the loan. Um, so we've got our equity and we have our debt financing. So we have a loan agreement between the lenders and the private partner, the SPV. We may also have what's referred to as a direct letter or a direct agreement between the lenders and the public partner that sets out the uh, arrangements and uh, ways that certain things will be dealt with under certain circumstances during the life of the contract. And then right at the bottom, we have the construction EPC contractor and the O&M contractors. Now, they are, as I've said before, typically the a bit members of the bidding consortium. So they effectively have at least three roles. They were the bidding consortium. They are now the equity investors in the SPV. And also, one would hope, that as we've done all the due diligence on these companies and we've um, decided probably to take them forward as our uh, partner because of the work that they've done previously elsewhere and their experience in the field, we would hope that they are going to be the contractors for the SPV. So interestingly, of course, the construction contractor will be paid as they go along during the uh, construction period. Um, and so this will be up front during the life of the PPP. The O&M contractor will start to receive payment after the services commence, which could be two or three years downstream. OK, so that's a quick introduction to project finance and special purpose vehicles. Part two of this presentation will look at cash flows and risk throughout the life of the SPV and the public-private partnership. Thank you.